guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a Dollar Tree haul. It's just a small haul. Plus, I did want to talk to you about this new challenge that I would like to start this year for the new year 2015. Um, before I start those um, videos though, I did want to mention there was a couple comments. Uh, one was a comment, was, was a personal message asking what color lipstick this is. Um, which I know it's nothing glamorous or anything, but I did want to share. It is a Dollar Tree lipstick. So it's one of the LA Colors um, lipsticks. And this one is in Mauve Glaze. I had swatched this before, but it's just a very simple red brown color. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that last year I had made this resolution that I could not post YouTube videos unless I had worked out that week and then at the end of the video you know I would show the calorie count and at the end of that challenge that I had set for myself I had asked people if they would be interested in something like a hundred days to fitness kind of a challenge where we all could participate that kind of a thing and um, I would love to do that kind of a thing um, Videotaping every day though is not feasible right now just because of the move and everything. We still have so many boxes to unpack and we don't even have all our furniture in so we can't unpack everything yet either. So anyway, um, what I wanted to do for the new year is still something that is related to health. What I'm going to do for the next few months, January, February, March, I might extend it a little bit, is to take on some healthy interventions. And the way that this would work is kind of like um, how Tori Amos described it as a beaded necklace, where um, with each video, I would add on a new behavior. So it would be a different behavior every week. It could be um, drinking tons of water. And then the following video, I would add to that and maybe um, make sure to work out while I'm watching YouTube videos, you know, that kind of a thing. What I'd love to do though, is to see if anybody would be interested in um, participating with me. There is a lot of research out there that indicates if you are trying to make some sort of healthy change in your life, if you do it as a group and you have that support, that you are much more likely to succeed, you're much more likely to attain your goals. And I know that there are people out there that hate New Year's resolutions. You know, they feel like you you make this big promise to yourself, you always break it, and then um, you just feel like a failure by the end of it, so they don't do it. And my daughter's kind of walking around <laughs> right now. We're in my husband's office. I'm kind of experimenting on where to film in the new house. Um, so you might see this black square covering her face every now and then, so that's what that is. I really prefer the short-term goals i find that i am much more successful if they're little goals and then you know once i achieve that then i add to that then i add to that i would love to know is that something that you would be interested in um and if so uh let's do that together to see what kind of healthy things that we could do to better ourselves better our minds better our bodies etc so anyway let me get into this dollar tree haul I post stuff on Instagram a lot faster than I do videos. Sometimes there's like a two to three week delay. So if you are interested to see those kinds of things quickly, um, please do follow me on Instagram. Just type in Clara Slate. You'll recognize the icon profile picture right away. Um, and then you'll see those pictures. Usually I post maybe two to three pictures every time I go to the Dollar Tree. Um, and I don't haul everything that I take pictures of. You know, sometimes it's stuff that I, I just don't need right at the second, but you know, I still post pictures because somebody else out there might want it, so. So what I picked up was one of these welcome signs and it is really long. It looks to be maybe almost two feet long and you can just hang it from the center of your door. You could hang it on a wall. Um, and it is so cute for Valentine's Day. It is um, a kind of wood. And you could see that the letters are wood and they're glittery as well. And each heart has its own designs, whether it be polka dot or diagonal lines or hearts, etc. So I just think, I just think that is so, so super duper cute. Um, I might 
even spray these with a la um, a clear spray or maybe some hairspray to kind of see if I can protect it a little bit just because the weather has been nuts where I am. I'm in the northern part of the country or maybe for now I just might hang it on the inside part of the door until the weather gets a little nicer. I also picked up a few of these frozen stickers. I love these mini stickers that the Dollar Tree has. You know, they have tons of designs like um, the Paris Eiffel Tower, Dora the Explorer, cars. Um, they have the princesses, Disney princesses. Um, they have so many, so many different types of designs. And these are really great for us. Right now we are doing some kinds of reward systems as far as some things we're teaching my daughter. So it's super easy because there's 96 stickers on here. She loves them all. And we just use these, we stick them on um, a calendar that we got from the Dollar Tree um, as kind of like a teaching tool. They also have in the teaching section of the Dollar Tree um, those grids, you know, um, and you can mark the date at the top or at the side, whatever. And then they could put stickers in there too to kind of mark that they did something for the day, you know, kind of like a chore chart or whatever, you know, it could be anything really. I had mentioned in my last video that I felt like my Dollar Tree was holding back and suddenly after the new year, all this stuff is coming out that, you know, everybody had been hauling before. So this was on my list, I can cross it off. This is the Soft Lips Tinted version. This is in the Blossom kind. And this was the only kind that I saw at my Dollar Tree. So I'm really looking forward to using this. And it came about just in time with all the snow. I also picked up one of their books. This is huge. Look how thick this thing is. It is a hard cover. It's called Elizabeth the First, a novel by Margaret George. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I'm a little bit leery about books from the Dollar Tree because I don't really... You know, are they there because um, they had a surplus? Are they there because the book sucked? <laughs> are they there because more people are using a Kindle or an iPad to read their books now? You know, what is it? So um, I ended up, you know, pulling this up in the store, you know, looking at some reviews while in the Dollar Tree in front of the book section. Um, and on Amazon, at least, I know the reviews are fantastic. Five out of five stars, four and a half out of five stars. I'm super excited, especially since I really, really like um, Elizabeth the First. It is a novel though. So I cannot tell you that this is a biography, but I'm just reading it more though for the entertainment purposes. Still keeping in mind that, you know, things can change with novels. I also picked up a set of these hooks. Now, I have known about these forever. They've been at the Dollar Tree forever. They're, they look super flimsy, but I'm thinking of using this as an organizing item. I also picked up one of these eyeglass cases. And as you probably know by now, they have several kinds of these, several different colors. The quality of these cases are fantastic. I mean, they are super hard. Plus they are lined with a soft, velvety type of material. I also picked up some shower rings. Now I will tell you, I have seen shower rings for cheaper. You know, you could certainly get them at the thrift store. Um, I think at Walmart they might be cheaper than a dollar, maybe even like 60 cents or 80 cents. But I was at the Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna make a special trip to Walmart just for shower rings. So to me, it's worth it. Plus, you know, that's additional gas if you make an additional trip. To the healthy intervention I'm going to do for the next week or so. Um, I am going to start doing a bit of blending and juicing again. Uh, I find that that helps me, it just helps me feel better. You know, I eat a lot better. I feel like I'm detoxing a lot. But um, some stuff that I'll be using at the Dollar Tree to do some um, blending and making some smoothies, that kind of thing, are a few bags of these TJ Farms blueberries. Now, they do have frozen pineapple, mango, sliced peaches. I did notice that not all frozen items are actually made in the United States. This one is though. So this says um, product of the USA. I also picked up a pack of these roasted fingerling potatoes. 
I had heard last year that these were pretty good, so I just thought I'd give them a try. So that is it for this haul. If you would like to participate in the challenge, please do comment below and tell me what your plan is for the next couple weeks, you know, whether that be um, drinking 32 ounces or 64 ounces of water a day, whether it be going to bed early, um, doing 20 jumping jacks before bed. It could be anything, anything that is health related that you think you'd be able to keep up for at least a week or so. If you would like to um, comment on any of the haul stuff or let me know what you've been finding at the Dollar Tree, I would love to hear it. So please comment below and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. My daughter is very sweet. She's very sweet. She's very mean to my first baby. And just to give her props. Look, look. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Toby, look.